I want to tell you a story about a young woman who was looking for love. She was a beautiful and kind woman, smart and driven, successful and giving. She enjoyed her life, but something was missing. She wanted a partner. She wanted a family of her own. She was searching for the right man that she could finally settle down with, someone who could complete her life. She looked everywhere, desperately seeking anyone who had a vague interest in her. She had lots of ups and downs, going from one failed relationship to the next failed relationship. Her mission to find love just seemed impossible. She couldn't understand what was going wrong because she always spent all of her time and energy on the other person, giving, supporting, and loving. She thought to herself, I try so hard, what am I doing wrong? Pushing 30 and completely discouraged, she finally gave up all hope until one day, someone finally showed up. He complimented her and made her feel special. Her family liked him, her friends liked him. He was popular, he was successful. She knew he was the one. He was just like she'd always imagined in her head. Charming, good looking, wealthy, and most of all, interested in her. One day, he even proposed to her, and she was filled with overwhelming excitement and joy. Finally, she said, I found the one who completes me. She would do anything for him. It took her so long to reach this point that she made a promise with herself that she would do anything and everything to make sure that this works, no matter what. He was a really busy person and he spent a lot of time with his friends. But that was okay because she knew that he really cared for her. She was so thrilled to finally be engaged that he could do no wrong. And even though she had some small doubts, she knew that when they were finally married, everything would be okay. Then just two weeks before their wedding day, he cheated on her. She was devastated yet again. She went to her grandmother's house, crying and sobbing. She told her what had happened. She asked her grandmother, what is wrong with me? Why can't I find love? Her grandmother wiped a tear from her face held her close and said, Honey, you are the most beautiful person I know, but you are so desperate to fall in love. If you want to be in love, you need to love yourself first. And then love will find you. So the lesson of this story is, we cannot place all of our happiness and value in other people. Sometimes we're so desperate to fall in love that we ignore the signs right in front of us. We ignore our gut instincts. We need to learn to love and respect ourselves first, value and appreciate ourselves as individuals. We also need to stop evaluating every partner as the potential one, as if they're a check mark on our to-do list. It should be about connection. If you want to create love, if you want to manifest love and attract the right partner, you need to find someone who is aligned with your vibration. Someone who adds to your happiness and shares in it. But they do not encompass your total and complete happiness. You have to develop that on your own. You have to develop who you are and what you value. Remember, if we don't know ourselves, we can't love ourselves. The law of attraction states that like attracts like. So the question is, who are you? and who do you want to attract? If you want to learn more about how to positively apply the law of attraction to manifest loving and meaningful relationships in your life, then I'd love for you to consider getting your complimentary love toolkit from thelawofattraction.com.